hello guys welcome to my channel it simplified this video is in continuation to the part one that i made on availability set so if you've been following this in the last video we created the availability set and then we added two vms with the name vm1 and vm2 in that availability set and today what i'll do is i'll show you how to configure the load balancer but before i do that let me just quickly show you that uh, what i've done is uh, on both the VMs, VM1 and VM2, I have added the IIS role. So these two machines will be acting as a web server. And uh, also as part of that, what I've done is I've added a web page. So if I go on the VM1, and expand the site, So this is uh, the web page that I have created on VM1 and I have done the same thing on the VM2. So let me just quickly show you that. So this is the web page on the uh, on the VM2. So uh, let me just minimize this. And what we'll do is that before we create the load balancer, uh, we'll uh, create an inbound rule for the network security group for both the VM1 and VM2. Let me expand VM1. Go to networking. Open the NSG. And under the setting, you'll go to inbound security rules. Click on add. Just click on the basic because it is an advanced rule that will be creating by default uh, it is uh, blocked so under the services you go to custom and select http which is port range 80 and uh, you click on ok So the security rule is created successfully. Let me come out of this. And we'll do the same thing for VM2. So the security rule for the second VM has been created too. So let me close this. So what we have to do now is we will go inside the VM and we'll open the port 80. So I am on VM1.
go to the advanced settings and we'll create an inbound rule new rule click next Yes, the rule has been created. Uh, let me do the same thing on the virtual machine, second virtual machine. With the security rules created, let me just come out of So I just grabbed the public IP for the VM1 and you can see that uh, uh, the web page is showing. Uh, let me just check that for the VM2. Copy the public IP and paste in the web browser. Okay, so both the web page are showing, so that's good. So let me close this. And now let's create the load balancer. So from the left pane, you'll go to load balancers. Create load balancers. And I'll give the name Gwish Load Balancer and the choose a public IP address. Make sure you keep that in the same uh, resource group, which is demo availability set and Canada Central is good and click on the create button. So if you expand the notification tab, the load balancer uh, is being deployed. If I refresh the page, Garish load balancer is up and running. Now with this, it completes a part two on the video of availability set. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.